Okay, so now with everything out of the way, what we're doing is we're laying a base for the, for the new tank, and we laid down some uh, patio blocks underneath so that we've elevated the pan from the floor a little bit and created some airways between the blocks so that air will circulate underneath of the pan to extend its life. And we're going to lay the pan down on top of that, and then we're going to put the well manager tank in the pan, and that'll be the next step. Let it slide. Okay. Okay. Watch your overhead. Lay it down a little bit. Okay, bingo, you're in. So at this stage of the installation, we've got the well manager set in the condensate pan, and we've picked the space um, that fits this room nicely. It's um, three feet or more away from the electrical panel so that you can meet the code there. And we've mounted our um, uh, backing board for the, con for the control panel on the wall. It's got pre-drilled holes in it for the screws that will receive this. So all we have to do now is set this on the board and then move along from there. Okay, now that we have the panel mounted, the next piece to mount is the consistent pressure module, which is going to control the pressure pump inside this tank and uh, control delivery of water to the house. So we'll fasten that up to the panel we have on the wall here, and then we'll start piping and wiring. Well, the well manager is installed, everything's up and running, and we have water, as you can see quite a bit. We're up to uh, 115 gallons already and still going. Uh, as you remember, when we started out, we didn't really know what this well yield was for this well. And uh, as part of the setup, we did some testing. And we now know that this well yield is about 18 gallons an hour. So we've set the timing up uh, with a little bit of safety factor in it. And we're going to collect 12 gallons an hour. That way, uh, if a drought or something rolls around, we're still within a reasonable uh, margin of error there. So every half an hour, this timer is going to bring the well pump on. It's going to get six gallons of water, put it in this tank, and it's going to just do that 48 times a day, unless it fills up and shuts off, of course. Over here, you can see now the well manager panel with the uh, two of the lights are lit up because we have power to it. When the time comes that the, uh, the collection starts, the timer on light will light, the flow from well light will light. It'll run through its timed collection, it'll put the six gallons in, it'll shut off and it'll wait, and it'll just do that again. So I think we've got um, a system going on now that takes less space than what the previous one did, uh, that holds uh, 160 gallons as opposed to the 100 gallons that the other system held, except that 155 gallons of this is usable, and only 50 gallons of the other was usable. So we have 100 gallons of usable water that we didn't have before in a space that's uh, actually less than what the other system took up. Um, so this is going to make it, this should make a great system for them and, uh, and, and allow them to have a normal life and um, we'll find out how they feel about it because I think I hear Allison coming now. Hi Andy. How you doing Allison? Wow, it looks really great. Yeah, it's quite a change, huh? Yeah, yeah, and look at all the water. Yes. Exciting. Yep. It, yep, you've got you've got water to use now. I uh, somebody tells me you haven't been using your dishwasher. No, I haven't. Probably for about nine months. Oh, that's a washing by hand. That is a shame. And how about how how has the washing machine, the clothes washer, been working for you? Um, I usually take my wash out right now, but I do try to use it maybe once a week if I can. But well, I guess you're going to have to <laughs> stop. I know what it's like. I hear this all the time. You're going to be able to do a load of wash a day if you want. You can run the dishwasher now whenever you want. Yay. And, you know, uh, you'll be able to see how much water you have at all times. But I think you'll find in the end that you, there's always enough water to do what you need to do. That's great. Um, yeah, I love that you can see that there's water in it because that black tank we had before, you have to check it. Yes, exactly. Always wondering what was going on yeah. in, in there. So as you see here, there's, uh, there's the well manager control panel and all of that. And um, those lights will tell you what's going on when the collection cycles come on and so forth. And there's a manual that we'll leave you with so you'll know what's going on. But at this point, you are back to normal life and you can behave as normal people would. Great. Thank you so much. Oh, you're quite That's welcome. Great. It was great working with you.